The scripture lesson is taken from Exodus, starting on page 72. So we're starting on chapter 13, verses 17 to 18. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though it was shorter. For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by the desert road towards the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of Egypt armed for battle. And we'll carry on, starting on um, chapter 14, verses 5 to 7. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his officials changed their minds about them and said, What have we done? We have let the Israelites go and have lost their services. So he had his chariots made ready and took his army with him. He took 600 of the best chariots along with all the other chariots of Egypt, with officers over all of them. Continuing on verse 10. As Pharaoh approached the Israelites, looked up, and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, Leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. And Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. And then, beginning again on verse 19. Then the angel of the Lord, who had been traveling in front of Israel's armors, army, withdrew and went behind them. The pillar of the cloud also moved from in front, and stood behind them, coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel. Throughout the night, the cloud brought darkness to the one side and light to the other side, so neither went near the other all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided, and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued them, and the Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of the fire and cloud at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. He made the wheels of their chariots fall off, so that they had difficulty driving. And the Egyptians said, Let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at daybreak the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing toward it, and the Lord swept them into the sea. The water flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen and the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not one of them survived. But the Israelites went through the sea on dry land with a wall of water on their right and on their left. That day the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. And when the Israelites saw the great power the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. The responsive reading is found on page 626. Psalm, sorry, Psalm 90, verses 7, sorry, 9 17.
finish our years for the moment.
great job, Sarah. Thank you for everybody for helping lead worship the last couple weeks since I sort of got myself sick. Um, last week, after uh, after leading, just giving messages to uh, for two services, and everybody else leading them the Sunday afternoon, I still slept really well. But I will tell you, I'm having a lot more energy this week. So the doctor suggests that you can just help me lead worship for another, I think, three weeks up until including the long weekend of May. Hopefully things will get back to normal after that. Let's pray. God, as we look into this story, help us to grow as your people of faith. Trust in you even when we're scared. Amen. So on this Friendship Sunday, we are talking about growing fruit in our lives. But one of the things I think that blocks many of us from kind of growing God's kind of, well, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, they get online, I can't remember. Anyway, I should have done the symbols that I got it right. Um, is fear. If you want to hit the next slide, Lyle. We, the Israelites are finally freed from Egypt. And, hey, there's a little laser pointer on that Lyle. Let's see if it works. Just push the button in the middle. Point at the screen when you push the button. Is it working? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh. Yeah? So you see the road towards oh, the, up the top there, Lyle? Perfect. Toward the land of the Philistines. Yeah, they did go that way because it says they were going to have to battle and fight. And the Lord was worried that they would get so scared of all the accidents, or all the, the war, that they'd want to go back to Egypt. So we went down along the Red Road south, and as they got to the Red Sea, that's when Pharaoh decided to change his mind, again, and sent out his entire army after them, again. And you can imagine how the Israelites felt. They'd just been free. And here they come. They're terrified. What did they say to Moses? Were there, was it because there were no graves in Egypt you brought us out in the desert to die? Didn't we say you leave us alone and let us serve the Egyptians? It would be better to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. They were terrified. And you know, in the last little while, we've had a lot of people in our congregation here at Hope and our partners down at, at Cairo who've been dealing with serious illnesses and things, and it's easy to get scared. But notice what Moses said. Get the next slide, Bob. He says, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you'll see the deliverance of the Lord will bring you today. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to sit still. Unlike our secular world, we are often told to look within us to find strength. The God of the Bible says that He will give us strength and help us. So the Israelites are getting uh, cornered against the sea, and the pillar and the of cloud and the fire show up, and on one side it says there was darkness, and the other side there was light. I have no idea. Unless God, the creator of the universe, did something, I have no idea how this could be explained. But look at the, the Egyptians were in darkness, kept them away while the Israelites waited. It was then that the Lord gave Moses the instructions to put out his, his uh, staff over the water to separate it, and they went across the dry land. 